Welcome to Airborne on SaintAugustine.com. I'm Matt Jeffs, and we're here at Eclipse Recording Company with Bonnie Barnes. Bonnie, how are you? I'm doing great today. It's good to have you back. I know you were on the radio with us back on WFOY. It's good to have you here representing North Florida Land Trust. Yes, sir. It's good to have you. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, our viewers, perhaps, who didn't catch that first interview and want to learn what is North Florida Land Trust. Well, Matt, simply put, we save lands. It's a wonderful thing. We cover seven counties right here in North Florida, and our object is to put lands in conservation. Beautiful. Now, how does one go about doing that? How, how, did, how is this process initiated if folks want to save land? Well, they would contact somebody like ourselves or mm -hmm. Nature Conservancy, and we would work with them a lot of times, typically it's farmers like out in Hastings or it's somebody who has a large tract of land that they've had in the family for a long time. And through inheritance laws, they have a lot of taxes to pay when they pass it on to their children. Mm -hmm. So if they want to keep it in the family, they can put sometimes an easement over it that prevents it from ever being developed and they get tax benefits for having done so. That's just one way they can do it. That's interesting. I didn't realize that, that that's something that could benefit uh, for, like you say, maybe they have a large track and just want to give a portion of it. Uh, yes, it can be segmented out. Wow, beautiful. Uh, there are some other ways that uh, the, the trust grows. Can you tell us some other alternatives? Certainly. There are particular targeted areas such as the blue ways and the green ways and along our intercoastals and our waterways that we're looking to acquire anyway. Mm -hmm. And we will raise those monies or do whatever it takes to acquire those. There are grants that you can go for, find the Florida Internavigational um, monies, all of these different ways that you could do it. The Florida Forever program, which the governor just announced a, a while ago that should be in his budget this year. Terrific. Uh, that's got to be gratifying work. Yes. How did North Florida Land Trust find you or how did you find each other? Well, I was working in St. Johns County mm -hmm. and doing a little bit of visioning with the county mm -hmm. and through the transition of commissioners, the job I had was going away, mm -hmm. and so the land trust said, we need you, and I said, okay, I can go do this. Mm -hmm. It's got to be, like I say, pretty gratifying work, huh? Yes, it is. This is very good work. It's kind of going from one side to the other. How do we grow or how do we conserve? Yeah. It's really kind of neat. It's a balancing act, though. That's what we all have to do, isn't it? Yes, it is. What are some of the projects that the North Florida Land Trust is working on? Well... Right now, we are doing something in St. John's County. Well, we have several projects, but the one that's most exciting to us is North Guana Landing. We are trying to create in Ponte Vedra, right at Michler and A1A, a northern access to the Guana Preserve. Many people have not been there in all of our communities, St. John's and Duval. And so by creating this northern access, those that come over from Julianton Creek, Nocatee as it comes online, and even Ponte Vedra, Jacksonville Beaches, and the surrounding areas will have a way to get into the preserve without having to drive down the 13 miles down the road. Right, right. That 13 mile stretch can be daunting because it's two lane and, and uh, this is a way to gain access more conveniently, is that correct? That is true. Now, it's not going to be a walk-in access. I mean, Guana is a tremendous asset to our community. Mm -hmm. And so they have their nature center and their educational center, and they do all of those things in their hiking trails. This will be pretty much limited access, but the ability to put in in the water and go on down, you could go all the way down to Six Mile, all the way down to the dam, get out, walk your little kayak or canoe across, put back in, and keep on going. Mm. So it's just a longer stretch, just a beautiful piece of land. What are some other areas of land you've saved? Um, in St. John's County last year there is a particular piece at 312 and Anastasia in the Fish Island area that we have 15 acres now under conservation easement. Really? Yes we do. Oh that's encouraging. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's uh, an area that I'm quite familiar with. Uh, also uh, what does it mean to a person, you know, if, if they decide they want to save it, do they get to do things like uh, uh, perhaps name it or, or anything like that? Does a family get to name their tract? or? Well, that's kind of neat. The North Guana Landing is up for naming rights. So really? if somebody wants to come in and 
honor somebody that they can talk with us about it and give a sizable donation and we will work with them on that. So we have not named it. We named the project, but not the event at this moment. That's something that can last in perpetuity, and oh, that's a wonderful option. Uh, landowners, do they come looking for you? Do you go looking for them, or how, how does that work? It's really interesting because the economy and everything has changed so much. Tracks that would have been DRIs, which are Development of Regional Impacts, are now calling us and saying, hey, wouldn't this make a great con <laughs> conservation piece? And you're going, yes. Yeah. So when I started, I had maybe a book of properties. I now have seven books of properties. We're working with the University of North Florida to digitize my database wow. and to make it accessible so that when somebody calls and says, hey, we're looking at developing this, we're prepared to say, well, we've got this beautiful piece that we want to conserve. Let's talk. Wow, you're right. So this uh, is affected by all kinds of economic factors. Uh, at, in one climate, people are holding on to it. In another climate, they're seeing, well, maybe it'd be better if I contact the North Florida Land Trust, huh? Yes, it is interesting. Now, we can't help very many. We are a small land trust. Right. So we partner with like the Nature Conservancy and Trust for Public Land. And so the moment somebody will contact me, the first thing I'll do is email out you know, and say, is anybody got interest in this? Like we just had a call on some property, 40 acres on Black Hammock Island. Mm -hmm. So the first people I call is the National Park Service for Timaquan and then the Nature Conservancy. And then we'll all talk about it and see if there's a way to get it funded or if it's targeted, if it's in the parameters or is it not. Wow. So you network with all of these other groups to get uh, their input as well. Yes. Uh, fascinating. Uh, what about volunteers? You need to, are you a volunteer-driven organization? Do you utilize them? I need volunteers. I use volunteers in the office. I use volunteers to help clear the lands. I've um, brought some footage of little... We had one young lady do a birthday party. 37 people that helped us blaze a trail from end to end of an island that we have in the Timaquan. Um, well, this is fun. This is it's so nice to be out here. It's so beautiful. Such a little treat of North Florida wilderness. So thank you. Okay. For is it still going? Yeah. Would you believe they made it all the way to the end? So your mission is accomplished. You were the first one to clear the whole trail. Awesome. Okay. So happy birthday. All right. Thanks. A working birthday party. Mm -hmm. What a great concept. Something everybody gets to do and, and leave feeling really good about, huh? Yes. Wow, yes. that's tremendous. And you also have uh, some events coming up this year that fascinated me. Uh, it involves GPS and kayaks. Can you share that with us a little sure. bit? Sure. We're trying a new event, again, trying to do unique things to raise money for the North Florida Land Trust. Mm -hmm. And so we're doing EcoQuest Kayaking Adventure in April, from April 3rd to April 10th. And you can kayak five different sites that we've had a part in. Some of them we own, some of them we're just connected to. And you do this through the week. It's modern technology, geo geocaching, it's yes. what it's called. Whole new, it's like scavenger hunt. You have to put your little ticket in each of the boxes at each of those five sites. But you have the opportunity to win up to like $3,500 in cash and prizes. So it's a cash and then more prizes beyond that. So it's going to be a really great thing with a festival at the Ore House property in Ponte Vedra, the property we're trying to buy. And um, just a good family thing. Mm -hmm. And we do have a website on that if you want to know. Yes, please. What's okay, your website? that is called ecoquestadventure.com. EcoQuestAdventure.com? Yes. Wow. And uh, you're going to be covering all of these areas. Uh, what are some of the areas you might be covering? Uh, sure. The neatest one is in 2009, we helped preserve 360 acres along the intercoastal in Atlantic Beach. It's everything as you come across that bridge to the island of the beaches and you look north, it's 360 acres that took Atlantic Beach's parks from 65 acres to over 400. And so that's off of Dutton Island, so that's one of the sites. The Gelt Preserve, which is 40 acres we own currently in Ponte Vedra, which is just the northeast corner of Meichler and A1A, mm -hmm. that and the new Guana piece will be another site. Then in Julington Creek, we're gonna be doing Durban Creek in there, down at Anastasia, um, We'll be doing a site down there so that people have to go in different parses, 
parcels and get to know our whole area and our whole region in order to win that money. That sounds fascinating. And that's coming up in April again, April 3rd to 10th? Yes. And that website one more time? It's ecoquestadventure.com. And those who'd like to learn more about the North Florida Land Trust, what's the best way to reach you to learn more? Well, they can go to our website, which is northfloridalandtrust.org, which is all spelled out. Mm -hmm. Or they can pick up the phone and give me a call, which I am at 904-827-9870. Bonnie Barnes with the North Florida Land Trust. Thank you for getting airborne with Thank us. Thank you. We love having you. I hope you can come back again soon. I love it. Thank you. And that's Airborne for another week. Thank you for tuning in on staugustine.com. We hope to see you again next week, bringing interesting people from your world so you can stay dialed into your community and the folks who make it tick. Bye-bye, everybody. Airborne Rock.